Alpha, your microphone is off. Alpha, we can't hear you. You are muted. Maybe she will fix it soon. I can't watch. For the love of beans, Alpha, your microphone is muted. Don't ignore me. I can make you look goofy. I hoped to find you here, Adept. Thank goodness that got your attention. Alright, hello fellow cultists. And welcome back to Elder Scrolls Online. Um, we are continuing the, the mission that we started. The um, Once you're ready, join us during at the our live guild. stream, and if you Speak have not seen that, check the iCard section. For your um, first trial. The link for the live should be in there, or the link for the edited version of the live should be in there, depending on when this video goes up. Balast will be expecting you in the Mournhold Guild Hall. I'll see you there, Adept. Alright, so now we know where to go. Mournhold. Where is Mournhold? Let's see. So... Gotta go this way. Is this guild hall? Yeah, you know, there's an easier way to do this, and I don't know why I'm trying to do this the hard way. I also forgot to start my timer, which I always forget to do that. Alright, so that'll tell me how long I've been recording for. That was loud. And guess what's back? The two liter of Cotton Candy Fago. And I don't care, I will drink. Unapologetically. Straight out of my two liter. Because nobody else in my household drinks it but me. So, I can get away with drinking it directly from the two liter. <laughs> um, it's caffeine free, but it is loaded with sugar. Like, it... It tastes like the Dum Dum Suckers from, uh, yeah, it tastes like the Cotton Candy Dum Dum Suckers. I haven't really had anything else to compare it to besides that. Alright, so now we need to go to the Guild Hall, which is Yishue. Shalador found you. Good to see you again. I've deciphered the spell inside the book. Are you prepared for Sheogorath's first test? As ready as I'll ever be. Excellent. It's been fascinating to work with Shalador. Even though he can't read the book, he's been an invaluable resource. You don't say. I had to decipher layers upon layers of meaning hidden within the tome. I need to sit back. My back's starting to hurt. <laughs> yes, speak with the Archmage. He's meditating on the challenges ahead. I'm still somewhat drained from my effort, so he'll open the portal. Ariel, watch your skin. All right. The brazier is ready. Velast prepared it precisely, according to my instructions, of course. What's it for? We're having trouble opening a portal directly there, so we created this anchor to help us. Some trickery of Sheogorath's, no doubt. The next time around, I'm sure this won't be an issue. I'm ready, let's go. And here we go. Into the Shivering Isles! Glades of the Divines! Shalador may not have been the first wizard to call himself Archmage, but history records him as such. Interesting. Well, ah, right on time. Welcome back. I was beginning to wonder if you'd ever show up. My lord seems to derive amusement from my annoyance. You are here to retrieve a tome for that Shalidor person, correct? Yes. Just a moment, mortal. 
Lord Sheogorath asks that you perform a task first, to prove your competence. He claims to have misplaced a pair of items, items you must recover. What items? A fork and a staff. Please do try to be quick. My lord enjoys making me wait, but he's not very patient himself. I've opened a portal for your convenience. It should lead you directly to the fork. A fork and a staff. I'd say at your leisure, mortal. But I expect I... Out of one portal and into another. What are we playing, portal? You never forget that smell. A dragon priest's tomb. Who speak? Oh, hi, Shalador. The urn is empty. What kind of burial urn is that? Some dragon priest, you say? Can't say I've run into one of those for. Look at the treasures he's collected. Perhaps the fork is here as well. Ah, yes, the fork. Well, that's interesting. I already know that and I'm not going to pick that up. Would you not push me into things? Thank you. Oh. That chest. Perhaps the fork is in there. I just made one and killed the other one. That's funny. Okay. Let's see. There's the chest. Hopefully the fork's in you here. You dare steal from me. Crit, bot, a crit. Ah, corridors away. My priests will make quick work of you. Lofty nookie. The shadows move, adept. Watch yourself. What? Oh, hi. No. You oh, wow, they're falling down from the ceiling. Billy, we may require your aid. Why do you sound like Draco Malfoy? We can get through. Is your father gonna hear about this? No remorse. No remorse. I mean, they're already dead, Bastion. So why are you complaining? Come on, get out of there. Get out of where? Oh, my fault I've been iced over. They listened to the song one time and now it's their favorite thing in the world. Oh, hi. Billy, I am not going to summon you right now. You are going to stay put and sit still. I will use you against the bigger one. The boss of which we are heading towards. Billy! Do you think that might have the been excessive? Smart. You shall not have it, dear new. Are you Destroy. telling me that I should not have summoned Billy? That Billy should not have been summoned? Because I summoned Billy for a reason. Billy is not overkill. Billy is the right amount of kill. I've got a fork! Mortal. Let's not waste time, shall we? <laughs> hmm, I see you have the fork. Competently done. Impressive even. Now, for the staff. When last we spoke, my lord recalled the discomfort of Desert Sand. I believe it lies somewhere within Hammerfell, in the dry and decayed hands of Prince Malil. Prince Malil Alakir, the Sith of Yokuda, a formidable warrior in his day. You want me to steal ago, still. from an Alakir tomb? Oh, boy.
This is the necropolis, Asakala, the resting place of Prince Malil, also known as the Scythe of Yakuda. The prince's underlings were clever. Yeah. They crafted magical seals tired. to guard his resting place. <laughs> Observe the Yakudan statues. Each bears a crystal in the helm and a seal at the base. The essences you see swirling around in the air here, their energy can be used to unlock those keystones. How do I capture here, them? I can grant an aura that will allow you to capture the essences as they pass through you. Collect as many of the small ones as you can. Yes, I have two they different drinks open over here. Scarab seals I've got the, the mountain view. nearby. I'll need to consider Boo -boo. the other two. I can do this. This place is incredible. Are you the essence? Yes, you are. Do 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 do. I dare disturb thine slumber. Nobody gets to sleep on my watch. When chaos must be done, chaos must cause. I have no questions as to what just happened there with that skeleton. Calypso, do a playback. Be done, chaos must cause. Slow mo. Final four. Speak with thee. Have you observed the sand barriers uh, on those passages in the canyon walls? Sorry. I suspect the prince's generals may be waiting within. Don't look at me like that. Their essences would no doubt be more than enough to activate the other two statues. Very simple. All right, let's go murder some people for fun. <sighs> Fum, I think that you're really dumb. You're there we go. The Come and take us. Power. Go to the center. You should find the key to Prince Malil's tomb there. In a moment, cause I'm You're paralyzed. Murdering. Don't think. Move. I'm not paralyzed. Fool. Wait for the tomb to open. You dare open my tomb? Yes, I do dare. Come then, and feel the scythe blade. I have a friend that wants to meet you. That friend's name is Billy. He's a very big rock giant. He likes ACDC and long walks on the beach. He also Insect. collects little porcelain you will horses. Never hold the staff. Never. Billy! Meet Malil. Malil? Billy! The staff is mine! And Billy's at your spine! Now, how about you just give me the staff? 
I'd guess Haskell will be waiting outside. Let's go. Probably. All right, bye, Billy. What is that sound? That sounds like a bajillion bats shrieking in my ear. Another successful retreat. Very well, then. I have instructions to have you return to the Isles. My lord would have a word with you. Okay. Back to the Isles we go to speak with the king and prince of madness. Who is Stump? Ah, right on time. Welcome back. The book is flying around. Look, Haskell! Farky's back! Oh, it's so nice to see him again! <laughs> oh, uh, good to see you too, Morty, I guess. Your gas! Your gas! Ooh, I gotta shift myself a little bit. Still having problems with that fracture. <laughs> Wonderful! <clears throat> I'll just take... <gasps> Forky! Oh, I miss you so much, Forky! You mean this Forky? Let's never, never be partied again! Oh, gives me goosebumps just to hold it in me hand again! <laughs> ah! The Wabajack! Belial held it down in that dusty tube for so long! Say, why don't you clear its throat? Take it in hand! And use it on some of these holier than thou temper types. What am I signing up for? Ah, no need to worry, your pretty mortal head. The Wabajack, it unleashes the potential in everyone. I mean, I've the had the Wabajack before. The essence of artistic beauty that swells and beats within the. Look, you want the book? Whack some folks with the Wabajack! If you insist. This is so exciting! <laughs> Are you crazy? I just gave it to you, didn't I? No, oh, wait, here it is. <laughs> My mistake. Here you go. All right, let's equip the crazy staff. It's probably not nearly. Turned her to cheese. And this one's now a chicken. Are you sure I'm just smacking people with this and I am not actually like making your dinner? Oh, fuck me. Well. That worked out pretty well in my favor, I guess. Sorry. Uh, why can't I turn them to cheese and chickens anymore? I'm now changing them into things and mortalizing them. What? You saved our high and mighty queen, eh? Ha! Huh. Naaman should have had the crown. A bit rusty, but not bad. So funny watching you mortals muck around with things you can't possibly understand. <laughs> I'll be needing that back now. And as promised, Devok. Well, go ahead. Take it. Once it's yours, it'll send you straight back to Tamriel. Funny how books have a way of transporting you. <laughs> Well, first things first, I am going to re-equip my weapon. And now I'm being transported back. I can't believe I turned a poor woman to cheese! I mean... I guess it's not the worst thing that can happen to somebody. I quite like cheese. Would you stop looking? No, Calypso, I wouldn't turn you into cheese. 
Why would I do that to you? You really are insane. Cities are as alive, fickle, and uncertain as people. Ah, you've returned. Do you have the second book? Yes. Excellent. Just all right. There's always so something new to learn. Before I go continuing, what I'm assuming will be the next part of the quest. I have hiccups. I need to go sell some shit. It says he's there, but I don't see him. But I'm gonna go sell some stuff, and then maybe when he come, when we when we when we come back, he'll be there. Um. It's not showing up. There he is. Well met, adept. We. We are in need of your assistance. Translated the book? Sort of. Belast has translated Sheagorath's tome, but we're having some trouble understanding it. She may need your assistance. Okay, Seek her out as soon as you can. She need me to go. Excuse me. Belast is working the problem out of the Stormhold Guild Hall. Exorcist See you there, Adam. Cheerful Adda. slaughter. I don't like how that sounds. Never credited the fur balls with overabundance of intelligence. What exactly is it she expects to find at the Elden Tree? Herbs? Relics? I have no clue. I expect to have her corpse towed back to the guild before long. Well, that's a very interesting conversation I just heard while looking for my next destination. Mildly concerning, right? to say the least. Um, so I do want to let everyone know that we're actually only going to do uploads once a week instead of twice. Um, so we will be uploading every Wednesday. Probably around 4 o'clock will be when the uploads will go up because that's the usual time when people are out of school. Um, my next live stream won't be until um, Halloween. Um, I love cities. The rude people, the noise, the oh. chaos. Is it strange that I find it comfortable? Mark your calendars for October 31st. Memma code. I'm glad Shalador found you. I need so your I'm thinking help. from now on when I get interrupted, instead of cutting that part out, I'm just going to have Clipso insert a goofy little image um it'll have to be one that she draws up herself um and eventually i might add fan art in between those like blanks with some fun upbeat goofy music um shea Gorath. he's made this process insufferable i translated the last book you retrieved but it doesn't make any sense i can't find anything that might lead us to the next trial i must be missing something Maybe if I By leave. all means, Circus of Cheerful Slaughter is just there on the desk. But be careful, the treachery of the Mad God knows no bounds. Yeah, be careful. Good luck, my friend. Okay. Um. What is happening here? Oh, shit. I should not have read that book. Darn it, I should have remembered. The Mummy. Do not open the book! No, I open the book, I read the book, I get transferred somewhere very dangerous. Why? Um, I ask you. Ooh. Why? One, a fool believing he knows better than the dashing main character enters the stage left. Before him stands the opposing sight of Hearthhold Helm. Hearthhold him. 
Within the three bloodthirsty races of the Ebon Heart pack await the full strides forward facing a certain dismemberment by angry swamp lizard and berserker frog. Are you calling me an angry swamp lizard? Because if so, sir, I resent that remark. Why am I here? Welcome! Welcome to the Circus of Cheerful Slaughter! Step right up, my mortal friend. The show is about to begin, and you're the star. Okay. You're going to perform a play. My play, actually. Wrote it myself. I call it The Folly of Isolation. It's a tragedy. And a comedy. They're both at once. Ah, a tragedy. <laughs> you want the next tome, right? Yes. Well, I need entertainment. I can only light Prince Malil here on fire so many times before it gets boring. Um, well, what exactly do you need to do? Before we get to your need, motivation, need to, we need to set the scene. There goes English. The scene. Tamriel. The three alliances are at war, and the wee little mages guild wants none of it. They want to stand alone. Sounds about right. Sorry, I'm putting some, uh... Say itch cream on that. Gosh darn poison ivy. Very good. You're paying attention. Now, this is a play in three acts. In each act, you'll isolate the guild from those bloodthirsty, political, warmongering sons of silkworms. By killing, killing them, them, killing who? All. Everyone. <laughs> right up to the high muckety bucks themselves. Just remember. You wait for your cues. You kill nobody unless it's in the script. But, but, now, but, 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 but I don't go by a I script. I can't wait to see it performed. Here, Malil will even light the way for you. So. I don't go by a script, though. My soul's on fire! Oh, 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 I'm on fire. Shall we raise the curtain? Begin the first act? I guess. Our opening act features the Ebon Heart Pack. Ha! That rhymes, doesn't it? I'm a poet, and until now, I didn't realize it. I'm sure you did. You know, anti-itch cream is supposed to stop the itch, not make it itchier. I'm supposed to fight the whole alliance? Don't be presumptuous, mortal, or I'll banish you to the Isle of Lusty Bards! Please do. <laughs> like I was saying, as the curtain rises, our Ebon Heart friends are at peace. Allies. Historically, though, they've been at each other's throats. Da. They're at peace. Slavery, border raids, and infighting have them primed for chaos. <laughs> they I just do like chaos. Push. I've written myself a part, a small but pivotal role, if you'll excuse me. Okay, so... Now what? Hey! You hate each other, remember? Oh yeah, get em. Um... Scatter. Go! Join the fractures! This is your cue! Action! this recording um which is fine i've got a call coming in that i have to answer oh this recording is gonna be a little bit shorter than usual but that's fine anyways i hope you guys enjoyed it 
If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you have not already, and join this ever-growing cult of potatoes and chaos where we spread positive chaos around as if it were confetti. Um, until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!